What's going on guys? My name is Mr. Red and today we are going to do a little test to see how effective apple cider vinegar is at taking off some rust and grime from metal. Uh, I have heard that it is very good at doing so, but I have not personally tested it myself. Uh, right here we have uh, an old axe head that I had on me. Um, I actually don't know how old it is. Uh, it's clearly got a lot of grime and rust on it though. This blade, you can see the silvery shine there is how it's supposed to look. And the rest of it is very black and dark brown with buildup. Um, I don't know how old it is. Uh, I do know that it is a shingling or roofing hatchet or half hatchet, sometimes they're called. Um, so this was meant for, you know, doing roofing jobs and shingling and stuff. Whereas like a regular half hatchet head looks more like this with the fatter blade. Um, so I don't know, it could be pretty old, but for all I know, it's, you know, it's only a dozen years old. Uh, I actually have no idea how old it is. It could be a hundred years old, it could be a 10 years old. I really don't know. Um, I do have these little initials here on it. CRM. Uh, I thought at first it was a maker's mark because it's on the cheek and it looks like it's pressed into the metal like someone did it when they were forging this head. Um, but I posted a couple images of this axe head to a Facebook group that I follow and people told me that that's actually someone's initials probably and not an actual maker's mark. And I did try to do some research in finding out if it was a maker's mark. And, you know, I did some Googling. I looked in my vintage axe book to try to find if there was anything, you know, similar to that. And uh, I could not find anything. So I think they're right in saying that this is uh, someone's initials and not um, an actual maker's mark. So whoever, whoever had this axe previously um, either put these in somehow by just pounding it really hard uh, when the metal was already, you know, forged. Or they personally forged this head and you know, tried to pop them in as it was cooling, like a lot of actual makers do. Um, but there's obviously no way to really tell. So let's get on with it. I have some organic raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar from Bragg. And like I said, I have heard that this stuff is really effective in taking off the grime and muck on old ax heads. So I have a little, um, aluminum tin here, disposable tin, and I'm just going to fill it up so that the entire axe head is submerged under the apple cider vinegar. We are going to let it sit for about eight hours or so, and then I'm going to come back to it and see how it is. I've heard that you let it sit for eight hours, pull it out, scrub it a little bit, let it sit for about two more hours, pull it out, scrub it a little bit, and it should look a lot different. So here we go. Let's test it out. Oh no, it's just barely not under. All right, hang on. I got to go get my other bottle. Give me one sec. All right, back with bottle number two. We can finally actually get this thing fully submerged. Shouldn't take much more. A little more. Wow, well, at this point, I guess I put the rest of it in. There's no point in saving that much. Let's go get another bottle. Okay, fully submerged. Now we wait eight hours and I will come back to it and we shall see how much of that grime and rust is falling off. All right, so we are back with our apple cider vinegar bath and the ax head uh, soaking in it. Um, it has been about 14 hours. Uh, I know I said that I was going to do eight, but unfortunately life kind of got in the way of this video. So I couldn't come back exactly at eight, at eight hours. Uh, so it's been about 14. Uh, and as you can see, um, the apple cider vinegar has turned a dark yellowish brown. It started a light um, yellowish orange. So hopefully that means that it has, you know, removed some of the gunk and rust on the axe head. 
So let's go ahead and uh, here's the moment of truth. We're gonna pull it out. We're gonna scrub it down a little bit and we're gonna see how effective this bath was at uh, taking off some of the nastiness. All right, so visually it honestly does not look that different. So, oh, actually, no, the top of the ax head is much more silvery uh, than it was before. So I'm liking the look of that. Oh, and you can see there's residue that's come off of my, on my fingers. So that's actually, actually promising. You can see it's actually starting to come off even when I rub it. So let's go ahead and take the brush to it and see what she looks like. Oh, flicking it all over myself. God dang it. Oh, look at that. You can see it dripping. Nasty black drops. You can see it's getting a little cleaner, a little bit more silver and less black than when I put it in. You see all the nastiness that's coming off on my hand too. All right, so look at that. It is much more gray and less uh, of a dark brown slash black uh, than it was when we put it in. So that is actually really cool. Uh, it didn't ever get to the nice shiny silver that uh, this blade used to be. And in fact, if you can see, the edge of the blade is actually more of a weird yellow gray right now. So I wonder if that's a stain from the, <clears throat> excuse me, from the apple cider vinegar itself. Um, like I said, this is my first time doing this, so I honestly don't know. I think I'm going to um, put it under some water and scrub it a little bit and then put some uh, rust protector on it and dry it off real fast like so none of that water can affect the, the base metal or shouldn't affect the base metal. Uh, and then I guess we'll have to polish it up, uh, make it all silvery and shiny. But um, as far as getting rust and grime off of it, I think it was pretty successful. I mean, like I said, it's not like super shiny and polished and silvery like I personally thought it was going to be. Um, but uh, it's definitely more of a gray than black. And it looks like it's more the color of the actual uh, base metal instead of the grime that was on top of it. So I think we can say that apple cider vinegar works pretty well in removing grime and rust off of ax heads. All right, so I dumped out the apple cider vinegar bath and uh, just to show you guys how much gunk and nastiness is on the bottom of the tray, once I dumped most of it out, you can see there's lots of gunk stuck in all the little corners and crevices here, and you can see the remaining apple cider vinegar is uh, almost black, a very, very dark brown, which is very gross, but it means that it took a lot of the um, rust and grime and stuff off of that axe head very well, so I like to see that. All right, guys, so here's a little bit of a better look. I did just go and scrub it down with a little bit of soap and water. And uh, I honestly don't know if there's that much difference. Maybe a little bit more grime came off, but um, it still looks pretty dark grayish silvery to me. I don't think that really helped anything at all. But um, compared to where we were uh, in the beginning 
with it being like almost black and super dark brown, I think we can say that that apple cider vinegar bath was a much needed um, improvement to this ax head. All right, guys, well, that'll just about do it for this um, video. If you enjoyed, please go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, like I said, it's my first time doing this, so if you are more experienced with restoring ax heads and doing rust removal and stuff, and I did something wrong or I could have done something better, please let me know in the comments below. I am all for uh, criticism of any kind. Um, and if you would like to see me restore this axe to its complete and former glory, then um, I will have a video showcasing that very soon. Hopefully it will be in the description below once this video comes out. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you enjoyed, please go ahead and hit a like. And uh, we will be doing much more axe videos in the future, restorations, new axe building, and axe throwing tips and tricks and stuff like that. So if that sounds interesting, then please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you keep an eye out for those videos. So uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.